Hello everybody, it's my That's African Coffee with another video and in today's video I'm actually at a construction site looking at houses that are being built with, with Jacob West so I'm gonna I'm gonna show around the construction site as much as I can and also I got some of some footage of me speaking with the um, with the boss and the I was listening to the boss and the engineer speak about the plan because as I want to be an architect so I need to know about all this stuff so I was looking at the house plan and the elevations and stuff and I got some footage of me um, looking at it and stuff so yeah then let's look around the site <music> balcony bit of the house and I'm not really sure about what the plan is I didn't get to see it properly I just got to sort of rough um, image of it but I'm actually allowed inside here so if I come in here this bit will be the balcony bit so it will be from there to there and then the balcony will be here I'm pretty sure and then if you come into this area is the living room area with all the all these bamboo sticks are for the comet the columns in fact where all the all the comet columns are gonna be and um they become around right here so that's the living area and then if you come let me just quickly show you it's a bit of wood here but here's the plan here's this here's the stairs so do you see the rough um stairs going up this area here is the kitchen, the kitchen area. So, yeah, and then in here might be the bathroom, I'm pretty sure. And let me just quickly, yeah, and this area in here, this little bit here, it's the next to the bathroom over there. This bit here, let me just stand a bit more back, it's a storage. And then if you see um, see through this little area here, it's actually the same house is going to be mirrored right over there. But we're focusing on this house, making sure this ground floor is all is all correct. And before we start with the other house. So right now as, as I'm speaking, there's people actually um, working at the top and just clearing up the site as well for the next day. So when the people come to inspect it, they'll say it's clean. So let me, let's move on. I'm really happy I, I was able to see this um, in construction and like what they're doing with it now because as I want to be an architect, I'm happy to see that I'm, I'm happy that I'm physically able to come here and see and that I was given the opportunity to because opportunities like this of everywhere, even speaking and listening to the engineer and the manager um, speak to each other and seeing natural floor plans is amazing. So I, I really enjoy that and it's excellent. Like I, I the listen, I understood some of it, of the most of it actually. I'm not gonna lie of the elevations and stuff because I've been studying it a bit myself for when I want for my architecture. So I understood a bit of what they were talking about, how they wanted to mirror the two houses instead of both things facing one way. So that was that was that was nice. <laughs> Here is where the builders keep all the materials and all the things inside. And this is just right next to the house, and then these are the water tanks, obviously, for the water. If you come past the kitchen out back here, there's a back, the back garden area out here. And with the other house, the back of the other house, there, see it's all planned out there. And the lava water tank there. I'm not quite sure what that's for. But then, as I'm speaking right now, the engineers here 
speaking to the mason the ma if you don't know by the way the mason's the person who pours the concrete and they're speaking about um they're just seeing if the if the house matches with the plan and also about the next step as well in the next stage and right now they're just on top on the where the first floor would be that's what they're talking about now and yeah <laughs> standing on where the other house is going to be so I'm just going to quickly show you the materials that are going to be either reused or thrown I'm going to quickly just give you a quick little shot of them and say what they're for and yeah let's get into that these metal rods here these are called steel rods and they're used I'm pretty sure they're used for for the columns over there as you can see up there on that one and then cement is poured down there and then if you come down, the neighbor side they put down here now, and then it goes up high to whatever height the house is, and then they, they pour cement back down in it. And if you come, just, there's loads of them that are going to be reused or even thrown away. And then here, here's what they use. This is what they put around the column. And this is what they pour the cement down, so it becomes that kind of um, rectangular. Rectangular shape, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's what they use it for. And then here's just a bunch of more steel rods and um, wooden planks that will be reused as well. And these are just more, it's most of the steel rods, wooden planks, and uh, and what they use to um, put the cement in. And those are the three main things that are here. <laughs> And the living room and the stairs have actually um, been flipped so the stairs are here, the living room is there so it can be mirrored and we move on to the next one ground floor here's the ground floor so the living room, the dining room kitchen bath, bathroom the boys quarters I forgot to mention actually and the storage with the parents next one it's as far as this what will be on the first floor, so the bedrooms, the family ed area, all the bedrooms are en suite, and we can continue to the next. And this is the roof. Yeah, the roof, remember the timbers for where 
the roof sheets will be attached to because it's a hidden roof. So the walls actually come higher um, than that roof plan. And then when the sheets, the roof is put in, you can't see it from the ground. So it looks like it's got a flat roof. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then this is the actual sheets of the roof laid on top. So you see that this side is where the gutter will be. And that you see it says fall. That means this is the high side, that's the low side. The rain will run down to this side and there's gutters here in the building that take oh, the water okay. down, yeah? yeah. So that's a roof plan, yeah? Then you've got yeah, side, side elevation. Yeah, yeah, you know that. And what's this one then? This is front elevation. Yeah, right up. Yeah. yeah. And you've got your window plan, so the windows, so you've got W8, W7, W4, and there'll be another section in the drawings where it tells you which windows goes where, which windows go where. And this is the front view, see? So it shows you that design. The floor that we found was this one here, where there was no section for this to be supported by, but we've just found a way of supporting it. We have one right side view of the windows. And then the back view, back view of the windows. windows. I'd like to give a huge thank you to Jacob West for letting me, giving me the opportunity to see this in progress and in action. I like to thank them very much and if you're also if you're looking for a company to trust in Ghana that you can trust and that you to build your properties and manage your properties, I have to say Jacob West is the one. So if you if you call the number that I'll pop right now, it might and say that you're from the Adaptive African Coffee and you're looking and you're looking to build a property, they might give you a discount. So what do you know? So that is the end of the quick little tour of the site and I thank you guys so much for watching this video and I also thank Jacob West for giving me the opportunity to see this so I'll again leave the number up for, to call them or if you have any inquiries about properties or anything and I'll also leave the email right now so that's the end of the video I'll definitely make sure to come visit here again when it's finished don't worry, I'll visit here again when it's finished but other than that, make sure to like, make sure to comment and make sure to subscribe to my channel and also make sure to follow my Instagram the Adapting African Coffee is by force. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you for another one. Peace.